8 under square root times 8 under square root under square root times 8 under square root under square root under square root. So, this is called nested radical then all raised to the power of 8. How do we solve this? So, there are two methods that we can use to solve this. Let us try the method 1. So, 8 we can write it as 2 to the power 3 then times square root of 8 again 2 to the power 3 and then square root of 8 as 2 to the power 3 then whole raised to the power 8. Now this square root means this 2 raised to the power 3 is raised to the power of 1 upon 2. So 2 raised to the power 3 then whole raised to the power 1 upon 2 then raised to the power of 8 then times 2 raised to the power 3. This 2 raised to the power 3 is under 2 square roots that means it is raised to the power of 1 upon 2 then raised to the power of 1 upon 2 then whole raised to the power of 8 then times 2 raised to the power 3 this is raised to the power of 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 2 because there are 3 square roots then whole raised to the power of 8 now we have 2 times 4 is 8 and 2 raised to the power 3 whole raised to the power 4 this is in the form of a raised to the power m whole raised to the power n this is equal to a raised to the power m times n therefore it will be 2 raised to the power 12 then times 2 raised to the power 3 times 1 upon 4 times 8 4 times 2 is 8 and 3 times 2 is 6 so we can write it as 2 raised to the power 6 then times 2 raised to the power 3 then times 1 upon 8 then times 8 8 and 8 gets cancelled so this is 2 raised to the power 3 now there is an identity a raised to the power n times a raised to the power n this is equal to a raised to the power m plus n therefore this will be 2 raised to the power 12 plus 6 plus 3 so it is equal to 2 raised to the power 21 so this is one method of solving it where we solved in 2 and 3 steps there is another method so we have 8 then square root of 8 under square root then this square root of 8 this we can write 2 square times 2 under square root then whole raised to the power of 8 now 8 then square root of 8 this is 2 square under square root times 2 this square root gets cancelled with the squares so it is times 2 times square root of 2 then whole raised to the power of 8 or 8 8 times 2 is 16 so 16 times square root of 2 all under square root whole raised to the power of 8 or it is 8 under square root this we can write square root of 16 times square root of 2 and then under square root then whole raised to the power of 8 square root of 16 is 4 so 8 times 4 then square root of 2 and then under square root all raised to the power of 8 8 times 4 is 32 so 32 times now 32 under square root means 32 raised to the power of 1 upon 2 and this 2 is under this square root this square root and this square root so it will be 2 raised to the power of 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 2 then whole raised to the power of 8 again 32 is 2 raised to the power of 5 then whole raised to the power of 1 upon 2 then whole raised to the power of 8 then times 2 raised to the power of 1 upon 8 times 8 2 times 4 is 8 and 8 times 1 is 8 so we have 2 raised to the power 20 times 2 raised to the power 1 and this is equal to 2 raised to the power 20 plus 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power 21. How did you solve it? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.